Hey, and welcome for t to Tarot Insights for the week of September 16th through the 22nd. And we'll wait a little bit to, as we usually do, for everybody to get on, or at least a bunch of you to get on. Uh, today, if I look tired, hey, Sally, how you doing? Today, if I look tired, it's because I just taught an all-day tarot class. But if you think I look tired, you should see the students. It was a lot of information to take in. Hey, Judith. Hey, Ashley, Jean, good that you could join us. And so we did, uh, we started at 10 a.m. and we went all the way till 5 p.m. And it was an uh, intensive, intensive uh, introduction to Tarot. Okay, Renee, Paul, good to see you. Let's wait for a few other people to come on and then we'll get started. Oh, hi, Arellis, Karen, Janet. Okay, I think we have quite a few people, so we will get started. All right, so this is up. Oh, hi, Susan. Hey, Jesse, how you doing? Um, this is this week's insight, September 16th through the 22nd. So let's get started. We will, oh, oh, we got a couple more people in here. Sh uh, Shanna, Becky came in. All right, so what's the energy for Monday? Let's see, that will be tomorrow. Well, we have the uh, Three of Wands upside down. When I see this card, I always think of it as long-term planning. And so you may find that, that tomorrow is a day where you're just like, let me get through the day. Let me just plan today. Let me get out of my own way. It's more, oh, hi, Lisa, thanks for joining. It's more of a day to just do short-term, just worry about what's in front of you. On Tuesday, we have the three of cups upside down. It's not a party day. It's not a day to celebrate. It's more of a day to be introspective, to get your own. It's a self-entertained day, not a going out. Oh, hi, Linda. Thanks for coming. So uh, Monday is, is a day where we do short-term planning. Oh, hi, Maria. Glad you could join us. Monday, short-term. Tuesday is self-entertained. You may find that women just may be more um, women-y, you know, that that, um, that idea that that we can be a little gossipy or stuff we just may be in our not as positive feminine energy on Tuesday what about Wednesday what's the energy on Wednesday it's another upside down that's funny when we taught the class we had a lot of upside down cards Wednesday you may feel overwhelmed you may feel like everybody's trying to cut you know everybody just wants a lot from you hi Janet glad you could join us everybody wants a lot from you on Wednesday and you just may find that there's just not you just may feel like you're feeling a little overwhelmed because everybody needs things. Now, remember, that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Let's see what we have for Thursday. Now, Thursday, upside down again, but this is a positive upside down card. This is the end of feeling stressed out. And so it's like you took it all in. Monday, Tuesday, you were very introspective. Wednesday, a little overwhelmed. But Thursday, you're like, oh, I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not going to stress myself up. Oh, bye, Gigi. Glad you could join us. And Linda, Linda, you can see if you uh, recognize some of the cards from class today. So let's see. So that's a Monday, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday. Let's see what the energy is for Friday. Another upside down card, but this again to me is a good card. It means we're focused. It's like we've we've got our focus back. We're not distracted by a lot of other things going on. Let's see what Saturday is. Oh, we had a couple more people. John and Cotrell, glad you could join us. Let's see. So we're up to Saturday. Saturday, we have the Page of Wands. This is our first right side up card of the week. Uh, we have the Page of Wands. I always think of the pages as beginnings and this is the beginning of passion the beginning of desire beginning of of uh, be great first date night uh, but it's a beginning and so uh, you may find on Saturday you're looking at saying oh what new oh, thanks Linda what new um, what new things do I want to get started? What new passions do I want to explore? And let's see about Sunday. Sunday's my wedding anniversary, and this is a card of saying, you know, sometimes we should be happy with what we have instead of feeling we need to go out and look for other things. So let's see what the week in general is. We have short-term planning, not long-term planning. Up, oh, hi, Susan, glad you could join us. Short-term planning, up, oh, and Karen's here too. So Monday, short-term plan, not long-term. Don't worry about what's going on, you know, five years from now, just think maybe five days. Tuesday is, oh, women just may be annoying. Oh, great day, Aurelis, to start a new job on Saturday. Tuesday, you may find that things are a little annoying. Up oh, hi, Susan, uh, especially women, and, and you may just not be in a party mood. Wednesday, you're really looking at saying, yeah, I'm tired of fighting everybody. You know, I'm really tired of, uh, I'm feeling overwhelmed. Everybody's coming at me at once. But by the time you get to Thursday, you're feeling much better. Up 
hi, Stacy and Susan joined us. We're, you're feeling much better by Thursday comes along. You're not as stressed. You know, if it was right side up, you'd be stressed. This is an example of when a card upside down is better than it right side up. And so this is not feeling like you're worrying all night. Again, on Friday, this is another card, better upside. Well, it depends on what what you want. But for me, this is a card of not being distracted. And so Friday seems like the get or done day. Saturday, go out and have some fun, explore some passion. Great day to start a new job, Aurelis. Um, but it's a day where it's definitely a fun day. Sunday is one of those where you say, you know, I'm really happy with what I have. I don't need to keep going and looking and looking and looking. I, I feel confident, comfortable with what I've achieved. And as I said, Sunday's my uh, wedding anniversary. So that's a good thing for that. So that's the week in advance. Let me just get a message and see what our message is. So one second while I... Uh, Oh, you know what they're showing me? One of those, I love them. You blow on them and they go around and around. I call them a whirly gig. I don't know what you call them. Oh, Amanda, Mary Kay, and Marta, glad you could join us. We're just getting the message. So the message, what they're showing me is a whirly gig and how it's all different colors until you blow on it and get it going really fast and it's one turns into one color. And one of the things that I feel this message is, is that what we perceive as many different colors, when we bring them together is one. And that's us. We may come in many different colors, many different shapes, many different sizes. But when our, we raise our vibration, that's the blowing on the whirly gig. When we raise our vibration, in reality, we're all souls. We're all children of God. And we're all... Uh, made from the same cloth. And so when we look at these petty differences, remember the whirly gig, you know, that when you blow on it, we're, we all turn into to, uh, a higher vibration of ourselves. And within that higher vibration, there's no difference. All right. Well, thank you very much. The winner of the contest this week was um, Tracy. She's already been notified. Um, and uh, if you want to enter oh here it is if you want to enter the contest this week if you share this post um, on Facebook and we're friends you get enter entered to win one of my online classes for free you can take ideals law of attraction sensing the aura evaluating energy which is actually a really cool chakra class thriving as an empath for those of you that pick up on everybody else's stuff, psychic health readings, how to evaluate health, a pinwheel, thanks Stacy. I was calling it the wrong thing, and connecting to your spirit guides. And you can choose one if you win. So how do you win? You share this post. And, and we have to be Facebook friends though for me to see it. Sometimes I get 20, 30 people sharing the post, but I only can see about 19 or 20 of them. Hey Reba, well listen, Laura, we're just about to finish up. Christine, we're just finishing up, but you can watch on the re one. Everybody have a blessed week and we'll see you next Sunday at 715 Eastern. Bye-bye.